Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the best of three between Power Rangers and Hey Hey United. Last match was won by Power Rangers. They're now 1-0 in the lead in the semi-final in the Mountain Thrill Challenge. With me, of course, is my co-caster, my uh, morality classman. What did you Hello. think of the first match? Uh, well, apart from the 15-minute stare down at Roche, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting, actually. Like, that's not something Can't you be. see that usually. You know? Like, this is something you expect happening in pubs without pro games, and then when it happens in pro games, you're like, okay. Like, what am I supposed to say now? Who's gonna make the first move? What's gonna happen? Like, uh, yeah, no one, because they Five both can counter three. initiate and initiate. Like, what the fuck? Bad dudes ah, well. Someone now. Let's hope we don't see something like that this time. Indeed, and. Well, we already have different uh, picks here Shadow already Demon bent pain. out. That's something you we didn't have uh, last match for in the first phase. Even th I mean, just look at this. They instantly grab out Queen of Pain and Undying. Undying, of course, is incredibly powerful, and Queen of Pain is, well, most it's a mid. It's Quop. It's Quop, <laughs> man. That hero has been talked about so much, and yes, most of the games it just delivers. Like there are almost no games that you think like, well, Quop was just so terrible. And he, he almost wins, like there's no lane that he like terribly loses, he's always able to get the things that he needs. Yeah. So, hmm. But they answer back with the Night Stalker and Vigils. Night Stalker is actually fairly good versus Quop with the uh, long duration silence. The green uh, but only during the night. Now. But of course, if you yeah. keep Darkness on cooldown, you can just press R and then you have the long duration silence. So there you go. And so, yeah, and especially with, when you have the Agonyms, it's pretty much all the time. Like, haha, you can't, you can't see me, but I can see you. You can even reduce the, the time a little bit more by using Kotal. And if you really want to go yeah. hard, you can go Octarine Core. Diatom pick. <coughs> anyway, here's a Lena pick, and uh, this time Hehe <laughs> picks it up. And of course, it's because she's incredibly versatile. Yeah, and it's also nice to have some more burst damage versus a Quop, or an Undying for that minute. Although I still think like Undying is going to completely wreck any ladies on, especially considering how strong he's been this meta. True. Yeah. Also, Lina is actually, it might sound weird, but it's actually fairly well versus Undying. If she can start right clicking on the totem once she casts a couple of spells Five with the Fairy Soul, Fairy Soul, it really brings down the totem down fairly fast. And with her long range, it's not that easy to get to her as well when she does that. You have to hope though, you yeah, have to be have careful to though. Like, that does open up, like, the potential once you're doing that, maybe for a blink into a dunk or something from an Earth uh, ship, or whatever but like that. But it's eventual. Yeah. And that's what makes it all... Well, that, that, that just doesn't... That just makes sure that Lena, if she just start right clicking, here comes Ventral, the stuns or swaps her back into the mids. Kind of harsh. Indeed. Also, if you use your Laguna Blade on somebody, you just swaps them out. It's like, uh, haha, so you used Laguna Blade and then kill him? Well, too bad, I'm just gonna save this guy right here. And if hey, you're, you're fast enough, me. you can even do it on time so the damage is not there. Five or, I think it doesn't link through. You have to, yeah. but the thing is, just like, I think the animations have exactly the same Reserve last time, time, so you have to do it as soon as she starts casting. Or like, at the same time. Just yeah. before it, and then guessing gets... Uh, uh, it would be fun to see that play, I wanna see it now. I got myself <laughs> all hyped up for that, so I wanna see that. <laughs> Doesn't matter about anything, I'm gonna watch the Defensive Spirit Alina all match, I don't care about anything else anymore. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll do that for you so you can focus on the other games. No, <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, well. <laughs> but yeah. So, oh, hey, Knight, okay, the Fizzards, let's see, there's gonna be. There's no Droban. What? Are oh, they pick up the Phoenix again? Uh, oh, no Droban? Me. No, and the Fizzards still in there, so. But PR but picks up Defensive already... Spirit. Yeah, Dro, Dro. He gets blown up now. He's not Broke that good for his swap. And dying is also fairly well. Vengeful is extremely annoying for him. And if he kills all Vengeful, he loses a lot of her own damage as well. So, uh, not really much sense in picking Dro at this point. Uh, what do you think? Nightstalker mid or Nightstalker carry? Five seconds remaining. Hehe, mm. <laughs> no. Maybe even Night Stalker support, honestly, with them. They, they've played it before. Agonyms to rush, maybe? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you, would, you would try to, like, earn into Agonyms or something along those lines. Usually a normal build-up. I just have the Void and the, yeah, I guess it worked. 
But the problem Perfect. is with Night Stalker, you have a lot of pressure to do something in... Well, the first is first night time is a little bit too fast, maybe, but the second night time you really have to do a lot. Yeah, definitely. You have to try and you know get at least two, one or two kills. You know, force a lane, get a tower, maybe. You know, just try and make sure that you can use the lights efficiently. Eventually, you'll get darkness up to level three, and then you can just press press R whenever you need night. But uh, yeah. Have to, and there's a PL, so team picking band. up a drone now would, uh, I, I believe, be suicide. Um, yeah, that's essentially me. I think <laughs> they were baiting it out. With the PL, yeah, you're baiting definitely that one out. You can easily, uh, you know, doppelganger over the gust. And with the Phantom Rush, you just run at them. But that's. This is not going to be a cop. Uh, cop. A draw game anymore. Five seconds remaining. It's like all these heroes are just so annoying to play against Astro. Because they, uh, the Queen of Pain will just blow you up early game. Same thing with Undying. Vengeful Spirit can just swap you around. And Pio can just run up at you. Indeed. This is, yeah. But we don't see that anymore, so it's out of the question. We'll leave that for then. then. And we're going to see what Hay is going to start betting out now. Because Yeah, I'm not sure what they can pick, to be honest. I'm feeling like mid they could go lead and they could put the Night Stalk in the safe lane, but. Uh... Night Stalk in safe lane is so. Versus a PL, that's not what you want. No, not really. So, put it's the Night Stalker mid, Lina, yeah, Phoenix support. Quop. No, Linux for smash support. If you want him playing in versus Quop, I think they're gonna run him uh, as a support Lina mid. But then, then, then they've got like the carry slot. Where they, who's gonna be the carry? Well, knowing their team, HWA? <laughs> ah, fuck. <God laughs> <damn you. laughs> oh man, that setup. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, to answer the name, yeah, this is just Hey United. Last time they were called Hey Super Duper something United as well. So just Hey, hey you, it's yeah, it's Hey Hey. <laughs> but yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, we have had weirder things happen to us. I guess. Mm. Five but yeah, remain. what will we be see? I think they will be picking up. Maybe something aggressive. Then. I mean, Power Rangers is just bad out Legion Commander because they're. They don't like, want to play yeah. with it. No. PL's fairly susceptible to that once she gets found out. Queen of Pain doesn't want to be locked down to a certain place because then she gets worse as well. Undying doesn't have to care, to be honest. Uh, yeah, well, he can actually. He's, once he has some DK oh, stacks off, yes. Oh, it's going to be Storm. Ah, right. Okay. That still doesn't answer the question if Storm is going to be. Safe lane or not? What do you mean? I think Storm is a pretty. This is quite a pain. I think the mid lane is pretty. To be honest, mm. Quop should win. Yeah, Quop should win. You but, should uh, be able to get your levels. But Storm Spirit can still, you know, doesn't have to care if Quop wins. He can still get his levels pretty easy. Indeed. Um. At least that is if Storm goes mid. Yeah, that's that's Five it. Five seconds remaining. But who else would you put mid then? Lina. From safe lane. Night Stalker off lane or support. Or Phoenix off lane or support. This is a uh, good question, guy. How he is like. Yeah. The crazy still for <laughs> PR is either going to do the Queen of Pain on the off lane or not. And is Undying. Uh, or is Undying in the off lane and picking up another support now? Or is Undying at support, Queen of Pain middle and then picking up an off lane? We'll see in five seconds. Sky and they pick up a Scarf, so. Undying another support. Lane. Yeah. Undying off lane here. Yeah, Sunlight is picking up the Queen of Pain, so it's uh, definitely an Undying on the off lane here. Mind Control, okay, Storm, Fiddle, nice Mid. Okay. It's a Lina farm. Position one. I've no. I've, I've, I'm. I'm. Uh... You're out of worth? Was it worth? I, I'm, I'm thinking they're switching around all here because Lina position 1 versus a PL, it's like, uh, um, death to the Lina? Yeah, like, even let's say if you get like an early use, but once PL gets a diffuser blade, it doesn't really matter much, and you're not gonna use it 9 out of 10 times to put PL up into the air because you should have illusions. I mean, the only one that can really. Do well against PL is gonna be Phoenix. I'm gonna guess here. Maybe even a bit of Storm Spirit. Phoenix with the egg, though. I mean, it's like an egg. Yeah, the one problem they do have a long silence on Skyref. 
Yeah, that's well. That's, I have to remember that. So hey, hey, let's see how they're gonna do this then. Indeed. Well, mind control is gonna be playing the storm spirit. Needs is gonna be playing the visage. We have HWA on what we're gonna assume is gonna be the farming Lena. We have Quepe playing the support night stalker, and we have the coon again on his phoenix. Right, and on PR times quickly because it looks like they might be in engagement here. We have Cheshire Cat on the central spirit. We have J4 on the undying. We have Sunlight on his Queen of Pain. We have King R Ra on his uh, Sparrow, <laughs> and we have Dirty Ra on his PL. Why do you say Ra after King R? King R. Oh no, he is. Oh no. He on into his face. There's gonna be the magic missile. He's almost down and he's just gonna take a spill here right now. Sunlight picking that one up. And Quepe. Void. Lightning strike the rails on him. He doesn't have a blink in time. And he dies one for one trade. That's free the case. <laughs> yeah, he's tanky. 800 plus HP. No, he gets first blood, which means uh, pay off the pay off the they don't get the rune though. Another DK stack there for him. And they're going to try and find this, but they're just going to start focusing down Cheshire Cat. He has a magic missile on Quepe. Sunlight walks in here, but he only has a blink. But they will be able to get at least HWA down as well. Two for one oh. so far in this game. Quepe, he's taking a lot of damage. Sunlight, he blinks forwards and they get another kill there. Quepe dies now. Are they going to pursue this on him? No, they're not. It's still, I believe everyone dying. is still level one pretty much. Not dying. Look at this early. He can just take early engagements. So there's no tomorrow. As long as you have mana to spam out this DK, there's no stopping him. Yeah. You need to burst him, like I said. And the Coon, he's gonna have a terrible time. King R is already starting the the harassment with all the arcane bolts. There's That's gonna be a fort of Quepe though. Aggressive dive in Spirit Lancels hit him and they actually get Quepe. The uh, Quepe actually gets him after <laughs> after the Coon already dies. No, 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 so the, coon, the, coon, the Coon, the Coon, it was a counter kill. Yeah. At least they got something back for it, and now Quepe is level two. One for one, lots so of far. Engagements, lots of engagements. They're actually dual landing here right now. And it's actually ah. HWA middle with Lina. And it's a Storm Spirit on safe lane. What the heck? <laughs> I thought I said so. I thought it was going to be a Storm Spirit. How did you it? farm up a Storm It's like. It's just need... because you want to have a little bit more eyes on him than you don't want to do on the Lina. And with Lina in early level 6, you can just burst down anybody and. You essentially just need like a pull in from the uh, from mind control on the storm. Or even a yeah. void to really just kill somebody then. Uh, his leaning on mid lane actually showing her strength. She can just outrange Queen of Pain. And just start dragon slaving into his face all the time. There's no bottle on the sunlight yet, so. But meanwhile, I mean, the safe lane is obviously going to be won by uh, PR because uh, they just have the stronger safe lane. I mean, look at this Ventral Spirit is diving up until this tree line, which is as an off lane that you never want to do unless you have like a serious advantage. Yes, sure, Cat, he's actually fighting up versus Mind Control. He gets another random to turn into his face. Magic Missile, Mind Control. No, he has to back off. He's a knight, he's a knight. With the DD. But yeah, the question is how is he going to catch up to anybody? Ah. He misses DK. But even then. There's no mana on Cheshire Cat, so there's no magic missile, so they can just outrun him. It's a pretty interesting set on Alina. Anyway. Oh, it's the Arcana. Yeah, no, no, I mean the other items. Uh, pretty nice. It looks like they want to go into King Ra here. King Ra? King DJ Dirty Ra, sorry. <laughs> You're mixing them up a little. Ah, well. It's they have similar names. Anyway, uh, Hoopstone was thrown down, but to no avail. So I was actually winning. I completely whiffed on putting on the <laughs> on the last hits in the beginning. And so far, Dirty Ra, he's been last hitting pretty fine. A Cheshit Cat is on second place, like what? Well, there's not really a good way to keep him out of there. and They just contest the pool all the time, make sure that the creep keeps are in the lane, and then he can just start last hitting. And with him as well as Storm having, like Venture Spirit and Storm both have pretty low range, so none of them really have the clear advantage in that regard. And he has actually quite a lot of base damage, 55 damage already, and yeah, essentially just gets like plus 4 from the stats. Ooh, the Coon! Taking a lot of damage there. Yeah, that's, that's just the, the Arcane Bolt spam coming out there from the Skyrift, that's, that's too much. 
Looks Maybe. like he wants to get a double decay here. Visage is, however, there, so he can soul assumption if he wants to. Uh, yeah, they oh, saw this, but he stoned him. Oh, this is so nasty right here. Sunlight comes in, my control is gonna fall here. So Assumption has been thrown out, but maybe a little bit too early. And now he's gonna take a spill as well. Oh, that is just nasty. That on the cliff is... This is exactly what I told you the last game. Yeah, I know. That <laughs> is... You can't kill it. You can't even kill it up there. No, like... You just run around with zombies. That's... Oh, wow. You can actually they do have a line but they can do it because you have a storm spirit deck because up there you have a uh, yeah but I mean it's Phoenix, like but yeah do you want to do that it's it's hard if you do that then you're basically forcing the storm spirit to let out the fight for the next half hour <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah this is it's nasty and they for that play they get two kills and the rune very good payoff. <laughs> Meanwhile, PL is going bottle. He's going bottle? Yeah. He just wants to stay on this line. He wants to make sure that he can keep on annoying uh, the coon with a nice old uh, spirit lens into the face. That coin of painkill definitely put her above. Yep, Lena does not have the levels that he does. Uh, also, uh, Queen actually has more uh, be nice so far. So that's good She's been doing work, she's been doing work. Uh, Storm Spirit has his 4 versus level 5. He does not want to take this engagement. No. There, there. Oh, but here we go. This is Knight, so you've got to watch out. Knight Stalker doesn't have silence yet, though, so... He does have a slow, but he needs to oh, find great. them first. And great to... versus the Undying, which can just, uh, you know, press E, that magical button there. Yeah, the one thing, though, is... It's good to mention out this one, like, Mind Control is the same level as Quepe. So your save lane farm is the same level as the Night Stalker, who was supposed to be a support. And the Goon, oh no, silenced up, Arcane Bolt, dead. Yikes. Even threw in an extra slow as well, but doesn't matter. Not a pickup going the way of, well, PR again. Oh, 42 to 7. Wow. And Quepe, he's just running oh, out of the map. Drop. That does nothing. No. He's just all going out. He's just trying to start uh, destroying this, but let's look at it a little bit because Ooh, the Leaders, in base. Dragon Slate, Lightning Strike Array. No, first Laguna Blade, Cheshire Cat is going to take a fall. He just runs and he doesn't care about the stun. Lightning Strike Array does hit J4 now. And there's going to be Soul Assumption, and he is dead. HW picks it up with the uh, Dragon Slave there. Kind of and on the middle there. lane, Sunlight dies to a Night Stalker DD Quepe. Well then, <laughs> that just went, that just rebounded. And now it's 5 to 7. Huh. What kind of gold change? 460 pre? Okay then. Nice. Well, oh, it's not bad. Yeah, and this is uh, the first night for Quepe. He gets to kill on the mid laner, and that makes him also get his level 6 right now. Which means that he can have a little bit more of darkness after the 8 minutes if he so chooses. Let's see if he's going to do the build that we advertised. He's going on, of course, so will he get the Aghanims now? At the moment, I want to say, like he's playing right now, he's, he's doing fine, so he should be able to do it. And Ooh. that's gonna be a dead knee, he's there. That was a, a Sonic Wave used to kill him off. Yeah, well, what can you do? <laughs> it's a Queen of Pain. Yeah, it's. it's yeah, somehow you can, you want to make sure that your Fishes gets level 6, so he starts farming on, farming on the lane, but that one rotation in. Still fairly they want to they want to they want to get sunlight here, but uh, yeah, Night Stalker is about to is rotating around. Lightning Strike away was missed though. Link there. Ooh, this looks like it's sunlight. Oh, but actually, this night time is going to end here, and since you put another point in void, it means that he can't activate it right now. Was that an accidental? or Was that just uh, out of? Oh, he didn't oh, even no. cancel the thing. That's going to be that needs as well, and cancel TP here as well. And he's gonna try and uh, yeah, they're gonna try and get this tower now and there's no way actually right now for A to the contest it because they're not in position. That's uh, that tier one is down. And now at least Hay is trying to get uh, a return tower. Well they get the return tower, there's TP reactions coming out. Here we go, silence on leader. And Arcane Bolt, yeah, do some damage. Soul rip as well, but he, he's just fine, HWA yeah, just walks out. And Lightning Strike away hits too. Oh, that's a dead Queen of Pain. King R is the next one to fall here as well. Do that. Oh. 
And I just should get, he starts running. The turnaround is real. Yep. That was a little bit overly aggressive, sending a little bit too close and just perfect setup there for Lightning Strike away. Lightning Strike away did more damage than I expected though. Was it the combination with Dragon Cell? Oh yeah, the Kun goes in aggressive. He is gonna use his egg dirt while he will doppelganger out of this. Just leave the egg for what it is. Yeah. He knows he can't kill it in time anyway, so he's like, yeah. That's fine, like, it's what whatever. It's like hundred seconds cooldown, so. Feel free Thanks to use for expending it. your cooldown. Uh, I'll just be off and farm my lady. I already have BOTs. What? <laughs> okay. Well, you got BOTs, mate. Okay, that's usually not the item that you first see on him. They don't really have something to TP to. There's no Beastmaster in this game or anything like that. It doesn't work on the tombs. So I'm actually not sure I want to see that. I know it works on the, on the rulings, but... Maybe he's trying to upgrade them like immediately? I don't oh. know, but Crepe he is found and he's gonna die here. Is he gonna get off a forward? No, he is not. Getting R picking up the kill there. Like, oh yeah, leader, sure. Sure, let's try and go in on the uh, PL because uh, that's a good thing. But, uh, Tom's very picks for regen and Sweet Pain is backing off. Uh oh, now we might see some big plays here. Storm Spirit with regeneration is really, really tough to play against. You just want to hit. Like SPR, you have to hit him once, but what if he's zipping around the whole time? Can't. Oh, maybe zombies though. Yeah, or maybe even the tongue himself. We'll see. Oh, yeah, sir. Brain farts, I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. So there's four and there's four on five gonna go in, and it looks like 30 bra is beating out a bit. Yeah, little, but they're not. Okay, they don't have everybody have there. They for a tombstone. Do they really want to fight? Because Dirty is not really that combat ready yet. He's not item wise. He's got BOTs. You know they're the birds here. This is another one of these stand downs of them. And That's Dirty are taking oh. quite a lot of damage from the birds here. Drop downs. But they they can't kill. Oh, oh zip in! Up, but no. yeah, blink was too late. He got already by Spirit Lens. They got the silence on J4, oh. and now they got the silence of Minecraft here as well. There's no totem out yet. There's gonna be the egg now first. Totem is put out as well. King R is gonna take a spot. J4 is really low. So the grave doing a lot. Till J4 just dies here. His egg goes off. Sunlight has to start running away right now. But no, he doesn't. They're gonna turn this one around on the coup with a magic missile, but he's able to just uh, go out of there with a nice incubus dive. And now they're gonna go after HWA. Dragon Slave, well, it doesn't matter. Dirt was still on him. Sunlight blinks in. They need two more hits. Come on. Oh, are they going? No, what? Uh, oh. Okay, this is Dragon Slave? No. He's, yeah, he's fine. He's going to start running away. Where are your BOTs? <laughs> Who are they for? Who have defusaled? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't get this build, I really don't, seriously. It's just to be all over the map, but essentially he's always at the top lane. So. Like, what are it, you trying to treat me? Trying to split push? That was like, he's you're not, a year too late for that, mate. It's just maybe that he doesn't let you get him later in the match or something. It's gearing up for late game at 30 minutes in. And there is going to be some aggressive zips in for Minecraft. Is he able to find King Ari? He oh. gets silenced up. And also nice concussion shot, there's going to be the totem out. They're going to try and turn this one around. Quepe, he is, well, he's on the back lines and he's just trying to keep them there. They get their uh, their idea of mind control, but mind control is still on the back lines and he has enough mana now to zip away. J4 walks in, Birch still doing some damage to him. And the Laguna Blade comes out there onto Cheshire Cat. Harvey gets silenced up right now and Cheshire Cat is still alive and is actually going to be a kill on HWA. J4 takes a board into the face, Arcane Bolt into Quepe. But, yeah, he just... He just doesn't care, and they're gonna try and go in again. There's gonna be the silence onto the sunlight. Oh, ho, ho, swap out! Swap. He will pay with for his life for it. Swap. Yeah, it saves his uh, teammates' life. Well, for a little bit, but he's still gonna die now. Towards the night stalker. Uh, but no, he's stuck. He doesn't have enough mana. He can just wait. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, fine. What oh, was that? Three for one, three for two. Yeah, three for one. Okay, not such a good trade on PR side, but uh... nope. No, they could have done better. I feel like Quop is underperforming right now. It was a little bit... It was a weird engagement anyway, like... Fighting... What was it? Nihis was on the... On the cliff. 
attacking from like yeah high ground advantage, but just all over the place a little bit. Oh, and this is gonna be dead, Skyrath. Yeah, he's gonna die. I'm actually looking at top right now. There's gonna be the TP in, and oh, there's gonna be wave of terror into a magic missile. Long TP there from J4, but they still have to scrap that lightning strike away. Oh, it doesn't really matter because it's already that Gojira picking up the kill as well. So what was it? Was she like a mid farming leader? Because uh, yeah, still 2,000 off from Ragnar. It's about 1,600. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's not bad Ragnar's time by any means, but it's, it's like you expected it a bit quicker. I mean. Yeah, maybe. Uh, he heals first or something, but yeah. Well, finally, so this is four uh, from the... Finally, that's where I was gonna use all. At the same time that Goon, Goon gets his uh, Midas. So. Oh well. Actually, uh, Dirty Ross still needs uh, about 2k gold. Or a little bit less than that. At about 1200. It's not much. Be in? HWA? Oh, he got uh, back up there. This is gonna back up here. Mind control, he really doesn't have anything yet. It really hurt him. He's about 1.5k down on the uh, other safe lane farm or the PL. So. And light? He needs, to, he needs to blink away before Crappy finds him and he should be able to do something. There you go. Oh, man. Oh, that was nice. And on the top lane, Dive Faint HWA. They're gonna kill him up here like the silence. All this damage is too much. They're gonna try and return this though. King R is gonna take the first fall here. Quetpe runs in. And Dirty Ross is the next target, but he will just doppelganger out for now. Yeah. One for one trade. Still worth it for PR. Although the Dotem is a nice 150 gold towards Quetpe. Uh, yeah, the, so the, bots is, the bots are for farming. The Yasha as well, but. He's not going, so he didn't go. Uh, Hang on a sec. <laughs> he's really. Oh. This is just all out farming build. So we might even see the Vladimir's next. And he's still fighting on top. Soul is going to be killed. Cheshire Cat here. J4. He is going to get slowed as well. Crap, he's doing a lot of damage there for it. And he's going to take a spell as well. The Kun picking that one up. Oh, but then. Um. The farming, but it's like. Uh, I know you can be everywhere at once, but I still feel like it's a weird pick for the L. This is. It is really weird, though. Like, he's not really that ready right now to fight. He's fairly low on HP. So but, like, 910 compared to, like, uh, let's take charges, 1300. So far, the, pretty much the whole lineup of BR is fairly low on HP. I think Quop probably has the most with this one, one point, uh, yeah. 1k okay, actually. Look at the network, bro. That's hilarious. Like, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Like nice. Uh oh, two TPs in. This was what they're waiting for. Dirty Rob was all the time he was laying around there. Now they're gonna go at the knee. He's just gonna sacrifice himself here for the greater good. And he gets another soul assumption. Oh, yes, he does. Dirty Rob gets low, but yeah. Not even He's got close. A bubble. Yeah, not close enough. One bird, two birds. Two birds. Last bird goes even the way of Dirty Rob. Ah, oh, look at the net worth though. It's weird. It's like uh, five slots in the middle, two slots on top, three slots on bottom. Like, what? Yeah, it's all over the place. Doesn't feel like like I mean, Quepe has been getting a lot of kills, but it doesn't feel like he has like just give me a forty-seven hundred. It's like Bob Spirit hasn't been hitting it much this game. But Quepe, he hasn't been less hitting pretty much at all. He's like only twenty-seven, yeah. and that's to be expected because he is the fourth position. So. Uh. No PL, yeah. Like usually with this farming build you now go with uh, enemies as I said before and then maybe into Manta and after that art or something. You usually try to skip the diffuser blade which I still would have liked as a pickup here. You can also purchase the silence. Essentially the longer the game goes right now the more favors PR just because of this build of uh, Dirty Raw. I guess. And he hasn't died once which is also pretty good. Yeah. One problem is, uh, uh, dying does fall off. Heavily, uh, yeah. Skyref as well. Uh, Vengeful, it's always okay, but he won't do a lot of damage. It's more like... You know, but you have to remember, it's like, uh, even though Undying does fall off, he still has that Clash Golem, which amps damage, which a lot of people forget. Still, it's still not dying. Yeah. And, yeah, Finlight, he's actually going for BKB first, so... 
Which is not really that much in sync with the build of uh, Dirty Raw here. Because this is really farming oriented and getting such an early BKB onto a, on the Queen of Pain essentially means that you want to keep on fighting. Uh, still though, there's already an ultimate orb up on, the, on, on Dirty Ra, which means that Manta style is okay. going to arrive pretty soon. Okay, he's gonna go Manta then, not flat. It's a nice pickup, you can do a lot with it. Because... I wonder what he, I hope he's gonna get like something off, like, off the Manta get like, uh, what's he called, the Diffusal? You still want to see the, yeah, it might still be a good pickup. We'll see about how he does that, he can even go for maybe an heart then, or, like, or go straight to fly. Into heart. But fly. We'll see. I'm not completely sure what he'll be going for. Oh, and the darkness just runs out. Which oh no, he has to start running away, but he just gets swapped in and he's just gonna get destroyed here right now before teams gets in. X is used. I'm just gonna start focusing this one down right now. There's some zips in for Michael, but he doesn't have any mana now anymore, and he's just gonna take up the spill as well. Ow. Lina, oh, big Laguna Blade, but doesn't kill off Sunlight in time though. And 3 4, nothing. Double kill going away of GA4. Okay, that was uh, missing. That was misplayed. They should have waited. It's actually four kills. Squiffy boss back. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Here's the thing, though. It's like Darkness runs out the second, the second they want to initiate, and that was their main mistake. Yeah, especially once you start going in with uh, zero mana, Storm oh, Spirit. Storm. What was that, though? I was like, I was confused. It. it he just wants to zip in and get into the fight, but there was maybe a little miscalculation and hey hey he just gets swapped kills and death. Instant buyback from him, they always have all the heroes back up now and they will try maybe to go for another round. Web Bay, Void, slowing down J4, he has a totem now as well. Who bought, who bought drums? Uh, oh yeah, Petrol. Petrol Cat got it for some time already. Uh, there's right a control. mech, there's a mech up on, on dying as soon as it gets delivered, so oh here's Quepe. They're looking for someone, but no, nah, that don't lie, blinks out. Jesher Cat, he also got 2.1k gold. Lovely. Crap is still running after them. Yeah, he needs to back up now, I was already saying, like, he might just get swapped in and killed again. I don't think they have any problems wasting a Sonic Wave to kill him. What's it done there? Ah, uh, they're, they're gonna take Rush, they're gonna take Rush. They're gonna try to get Rush. Medallion on the knee, so Rush takes a oh, lot of damage there. Here's a knife. There's the totem. Here come the zombies. Yeah, now they have vision of him, so they can actually destroy it quite easily right now. Sonic Wave oh. does hit three though on the back line, but they're not that low though. Now they are. There's going to be the BKB uses, but there's already an Agonim onto uh, AWA and Sunlight just takes a spill here. Webpay, he is really low. King R is getting focused on the back lines by Mike and Cole. So far, they're already three hit on the side of Hey Hey. So, oh, this is just the first one down for uh, PR King R. There it is. They're going to go after J4. Burst hit again. Soul Rip, is he going to die here? No, he isn't. Of the heels up there and, and Quidditch manages control. to get a counter kill on my control. Five, a whole team wipe. And with the two buybacks from the five before as well. So two diebacks onto Nihius and as well as Quepe. And here's Rosh. Easy Rosh for the yeah. PL. And yeah, this is. This is really this farming build so far from uh, Dirt Ross paying off. Yeah, I can actually just, I can see it. I mean, it's, it's a very fusion. risky build, I feel. It, yeah, it's a very risky build. I yeah. feel like because you need to have your participation from your team. Yeah, they your need team to needs to, to make space. Yeah, exactly. Make a lot of space, and this is, that's been working out. So now he has a Manta, so now he can be left alone. Yeah, and this, with this build up towards the defuser now, he will start to do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. I notice he hasn't taken much of Phantom Rush, which makes sense, I mean, why would you? Uh, you, you just start leveling up your doppelganger first, it's, yeah. it's essentially one of your bread and butter skills Yeah, but right I mean, now. it's level 15 and then he still hasn't, he only has two levels oh. of Phantom Rush, so I'm guessing it's yeah, I think because he, he doesn't need it. Yeah. Like stats. two levels is enough. Exactly. Essentially, you're not, you're not killing a, a target in, what is it, four uh, seconds anyway. Oops, hang on a sec. Oh no, what went wrong? New bot is displaying the schedule. No! Bad move bot. Bad. Well then, anyway. Oh, doesn't matter. Look at the schedule guys, that's one from one week ago or something. <laughs> Sorry about it. Anyhow... BL, close to his Fuser Blade, Sunlight, he's building up towards some Aghanims as well. 
J4 is taking a lot of damage. Trap underneath. He's near his cutout. He's gonna die here. The griefs come out of there from J4, making sure that Cheshire Cat doesn't die. And now the birds. Here's the thing like, griefs are just awesome. <laughs> Good uh, analytical uh, <laughs> stuff from uh, morality. Analyze. Analyze. Like, during that fight, what have we done? Griefs are awesome. Uh, <laughs> Swap is also really good. <laughs> and, anyway. uh, and yeah, as well, the most important thing to also know there is that the vision dies versus four heroes. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Incredibly important. Yeah, no, that fight was def definitely pretty one sided. Well, it wasn't really even a fight. Well, like, uh, Let's great. swap into that. Yeah. Swap of that there. Like the tour, he's actually running away from, uh, from Cheshire Cat. He's going BKB, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh dear, okay, so, um, hang on a sec. Hmm. Now we get a big amount of items coming in. Dirty Rock gets his uh, Diffusal Blade. We get a, uh, yeah, a Veil on the Coon. And the Bloodstone was just completed on Might Control. So the next... Oh, yeah. yeah. The next fight, if Hey Hey doesn't win this one, they essentially lost. Because now we got this Bloodstone, and if you lose your first what fight with it... That's so terrible. Because then it will just start being like a downward slope from there on. Right, okay, so now uh, Kwepe has an Oakwood Club now. I'm guessing this is going to be building up towards a BKB, considering that you don't get Oak usually don't get Oakwood Club first if you're going Angulus. Well, you usually don't get a Sonic Wave once you're while well, you're fam <laughs> farming your Asian stack. <laughs> <laughs> They're pinging out like, there is a ward there, guys, there's a ward there, but they didn't place it there. They, they placed it there. <laughs> yeah. That's just... This is just a good play from them. And... Really heads up as well from Sunlight there, killing him off. This... Really great. <laughs> I love that. They take a tower. Oh, also to, uh, to answer a question in the chat. Uh, where do you pay... How do you bet on money? Or uh, Dota 2? Well, on eBet. That's it. Yeah. End of story. That's the end of it. And Mind Control committed suicide. And that means that he's down, I believe, to 5. Yes, I remember I remember the numbers correctly. So he's down And to that five. is not good. You don't want a blood charge for low 8 charges. <laughs> nope. So this is... No longer value. No longer value. And yeah, this... It's just a downward slope, what is it? Yeah, they're already 10k uh, gold behind. Over 5k uh, XP. But this is gonna be tough. No, why not? And hey, hey, really needs to win this one because, yeah. You don't really want to be facing up Scary Phases or Vega. No, especially in the current situation, Vega being one of the qualifiers, being in the qualifiers and Scary Phases just being very strong. Yeah, really up and coming. Anyway. Oh, but this. the net worth, it's like Cheshire Cat is not free. She wasn't, she's not even a core. At least I know Cancer is a core. Ah, oh, he was, he was, he was the offline farmer. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I mean, if you look at it that, that way. Yeah, in that way. Don't kind of win. You got the BKB. Win, it's, like, it's like his items are like... Why the BKB? I mean, it's like... This is like the item build-up on a... Oh dear. Uh, HRB, yeah. I guess. We got a little bit of pause here. But yeah, like... Uh, this is like the item that you use in you know, a gyro sometimes. Maybe... Usually maybe... Set of the drums and uh, an HRD. But yeah, this is actually a build-up that you could see on a... <laughs> on them. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, the thing is, that it's like I don't feel like it does much. It just keeps like, him alive, and he just wants to swap out, get off the, all his spells, and still be alive after that. I mean, you could do that with a four staff as well, couldn't you? That's true. It costs less, and it's more ability. But in, I think he just likes it. He just wants to fight. He wants to man up. Maybe he's gonna get like the good old desolator afterwards. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Might be, if he can farm it up. No, he's well, going Morbid Mask, so I'm gonna assume he's gonna be in uh, a Vladimir's offering. Yeah, probably. Considering uh, the PL isn't getting one. Is and it? Lina's reconnected. Uh, yeah, Ditya Ra is... Uh, I mean, the enemy jungle. Like, why uh, shouldn't he? Like, what's gonna stop him? Uh, nothing, really. It's like, uh, Storm gonna stop him? No. Is Nice Talker gonna stop him? Maybe. No, not really. Uh, is Visage gonna stop him? Pfft, no. Phoenix gonna stop him too far away, and this Lina gonna stop him way too far away. 
And even let's say if just Quape just starts running in, it's yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be indeed be in uh, a BKB as you said. Uh wait, wait, hang on, when? On a uh, on Quape. Ah, okay. So he instead is... of the Agonums, he's getting a BKB, which means that uh Yeah. He wants to fight, but how can he fight? Even with the BKB, he's not. Well, he can get off a little bit more spells, but I don't think he will be able to get off a lot of right clicks. So. I can, right now, PL is just gonna whack him to death with his 1000 illusions. And and for that, he does need it, because his mana will be completely drained versus all those illusions with the Illusion <laughs> Blade. Like, uh oh. It's like, but that's the only thing. It's like, you know, PL will still kill him, though. Indeed. Uh, meanwhile. Yeah, Undyke is just going to go full aura here, which is what you usually do. Yeah, actually, then, think, this is going to be, uh, by the way, this is going to be like a vengeful aura thing. Where's fun? Vengeful aura thing? What are you talking oh, about? Yeah. Oh, Cheshire Cat, like, he's going to build uh, Flamir's. He's going to try ah, and build an okay. AC. Like those kind of things. And then if they try to get a pipe now onto the J4, then they have even more aura because then you get the plus 10. Uh, buff into your uh, to your magic resistance. Oh yeah, yeah sure. They change that, so it's always active. And they have glimmer capes. Oh, of course, the good old glimmer cape. From King Iron. Well, yeah, there's an Agnim, so. Uh, hang on. They they did. Oh, just out of sight of the Sentry Ward range. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh no, HWA! He just goes into three heroes of the enemy, <laughs> and he just gets blown up. Ouch! Aegis just expired as well. One thing to note. Uh, so the crest up on Visage, which is good. Bane's gonna need that. Storm is still has two thousand two hundred gold. And I don't even know what he's going to get right now. BKB. <laughs> Most likely. Um, <clears throat> although you would have bought a component right now. Eh, maybe not. Maybe he wants to save up for buyback. Uh, uh, no, that is a Helm of the Dominator, not a Vladimir's. Is this? Oh. Yeah. I was expecting a Vladimir's just to help out the PL. Uh, well, this this makes things much more interesting. <laughs> oh, no, Cheshire Cat is going to be found here by Crepe, Ford on him. Hang on, he has a stun though. Oh, uh, this is why they got to be OTs. It's all played out for this now. Dirty Rock and TP onto the sand tower. Wow, that's that's. Next level value. shit here. Quepe, he's gonna get the silence onto Dirty Rock, but he's just gonna mend out of this. He's gonna lose all of his mana now. He's really fast. Swept back onto Micator into a nice oh. old sand tower instead into Magic Missile. Those are the plays, and that is <laughs> sunlight. He is happy about this. I'm smiling as well. That was such an awesome play there. That was. So horrible. <laughs> I don't think my control like that. <laughs> this oh, play no. like, oh my god. Undying is dying. <laughs> undying is no longer undying, unfortunately. Nope. That was a bad call. I had three glimmer caves out. <laughs> oh, well, that, that, that was. Hang on, he doesn't even have a. Ah. King Ardos. Anyway. HWA doesn't have it. Sonic will have him to the face, and he gets killed by Sunlight. This is just painful for Hey Hey now. This is just completely painful for Hey Hey. Yeah. Yeah, there's over 12k <laughs> gold <laughs> and nearing the 10k XP mark. Like, they're gonna it's start like PL, going but the, the worst part is about this, I think. It's like PL has 1300 health. Well, he's going into his heart right now. He's got the rescue on the thing. Onto the courier. Quepe dies here. He gets blown up. My control. He's silenced. He's gonna be the next one to fall. He still has one, two seconds. No, yeah, he's gonna die there into a nice old PL. Yeah, right click or clear lines. I don't know what he used there. Essentially, he's dead. Like, same thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's one thing I want to say before the game somehow ends in a unforeseen matter. Pale is really good for PL. The the real ones gl get glown up by it. Like you you always have the, like a purple glow around it. You always know who's the real one. Yeah. Just something good to say. I almost forgot to say it before. Always good to know. <laughs> it is. But the thing is, it didn't really help them much. I mean, they killed the Undying yeah. great. No, Sanji now they're just waiting to get Dirty Rai's heart, which he just actually got. Oh, wow, well, there you go. Um, I'm guessing just get a butterfly now for the added effect. Yep. First, probably get like an. Uh, I would say you get the Talisman of Fusion first, just make sure that they can't really right click you anymore. 
And yeah, from there you keep on going. These illusions are just gonna be so tanky. They're not gonna be hard. They're not gonna be hard to deal with. Not at all, and he even gets another uh, region rune. And they're gonna start taking down Rush again. So far, he hasn't really noticed this one. Not doing it too fast though. Okay, like they, they, don't, they don't actually have, like, if PL doesn't actually have any damage, it's like, the only thing he really does have is the fact that he can create a thousand of himself. Yeah, and that doesn't work for his rush. Yeah. But yeah, that's... But that's just your cat, though, with all the minus armor. PR is just not a... Oh. Well, I almost thought that it was going to be denied there. With the fish <laughs> bird. That would have been a big play. Definitely. Would have been almost game-changing. Mind control, is he maybe gonna look for this? Oh, right, they're gonna back uh, this up. They don't want to go into PL. Why you, you've got a heart on a PL, why would you want to look at that? Well, so far, like, he's alone, but the problem is he's at this tower, and... Like, if you don't take care of him, like... Soon, he's just gonna start at, at your base, he's gonna throw in illusions all the time. And this is gonna get harder and harder. You might as well catch him off guard while he's, like, pushing out the lane. They've got four guys pushing it as well, they have to... Prioritize, and I'm guessing mid is going to be more of a priority here. Yeah, especially since they, they can just TP in the, uh, the PL here with his BOTs. Like he uh, doesn't have the cap. Oh, oh, there he goes. My control goes in, but there's already the TP out there as well. King R taking a lot of damage, but Soul Rip just keeps him alive there. And now they go in here. This is a real fight, and there's going to be the death there already. And HW is Sonic Wave kills with Mind Control. They got him buy back on him straight away. Kroon is getting focused down. He has to use his. Uh, Oh, he doesn't have to use his uh, egg. He's still, he has like... Ooh, well, now he's low on mana, now he can't use it anymore though. So now he needs to go like back that's to base. PL for you. Yeah. tree down. Let's see, darkness pop, they will try to maybe have a lesser raw here. He's burning their own mana, and, it's, and there's nothing they can do about it, because they're his illusions are way too tanky. Yeah, they're not really committing anyway, like, Birdoran's just on the front line, he just purchases off the, uh, <coughs> the solar quest with the doppelganger. Gets a casual source option in the face, still doesn't it's care. Just, it's like I'm just gonna hit your rack, you guys can't do anything about well, it. Well, they can do this, they can kill my control. <laughs> Blown up, dead, Quepe, found, dead. Egg use, uh, doesn't matter, GG out. Well played, PR, 0 to 2. Egg dies, no, it doesn't. Kroon, will he get out? No, he won't. Will he die before the timer? Yes, he does. Another kill going the way of Dirty Rock here. Well played. And there's still a godlike streak of Dirty Ra. Oh my god. Well then, Power Rangers. Congratulations. 2-2-0 versus Hehe. Good match. I was expecting a free. I was really expecting three matches. Well, last time Hehe won with 2-0. Now, BR wins 2-0. It evens it out. I guess. Oh yeah, that was actually all for today already, so yeah. I guess we'll see you guys, uh, yeah. I'm not even sure. We have a match tomorrow, we have a best of one between Vega and Scary Faces. At uh, what time? Um, second. Oh, and then there we go, at uh, 17 CEST. Well, there you go. Be so there we'll then. see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock CET or yeah. CEST. You will be there with me? I probably will. Okay, that's... Okay, and that's it for today. I want to thank, of course, again, all of our sponsors. E-Battle, Kingston, Bricks, Intel, and as well as Asus. And that was it for us today. I'm signing out. Enjoy the uh, the music. I will play it for another 10 minutes or so, and I will be in the lobby chatting a bit. Alright, peace out.